Hi guys, welcome to the tour in Amazing Hiring. I'm Anna and I will guide you through the system. The first step you would take at Amazing Hiring is building a search query for your request. There are different conditions to add or to exclude that help to customize your query and generate the most relevant results. The system is Boolean intelligent, so all my skills for building nice and structured queries joined by Boolean operators are welcome here. Let's imagine that we are looking for a full-stack Java developer with excellent JavaScript knowledge located in Europe. But we would exclude a certain city as we have checked all local candidates, so we don't want to see people from Amsterdam. Let's type Java and JavaScript in the skill string. And we would definitely add one more condition, the current title, to filter out all irrelevant profiles that belong to CTOs, architects, and even recruiters. Okay, um, now the search query looks pretty good, so it's time to run the search. The system has generated over 96,000 profiles that fulfill the given requirements, so I would better apply several filters to narrow the search. First, I would change the sorting way to see the most active profiles on GitHub. By default, all profiles are shown by consolidated rating, where several criteria like seniority, position, company are taken into account. I would change it to sorting by GitHub commits. OK, I would probably check the hidden stars. These are people who either don't have LinkedIn profile or haven't mentioned their tech stack or skills there. So these are people who are not that easy to find when running the same search on LinkedIn. As I am sourcing for a senior role, I would apply another filter to narrow my results only to the most experienced developer. At the same time, I would exclude executive roles from my results. Well, At first sight, I'm fine with the search output generated by this search query, so I would save it to my favorites, it's here, and jump directly there whenever I'm working on this position. Let's check the shortcuts in the search output. Well, this candidate seemed to be a great fit. Right from the short card, I see his current position and company he works for, university he graduated from, his core skills are proven by achievements in technical communities, in this case it's GitHub. I can easily jump to any of his profiles across other networks. Amazing Hiring gathers publicly available information from more than 50 sources and shows it in consolidated profiles. Therefore, in the full profile, I would have the fullest information on candidate stack stack as it's aggregated from multiple sources. So let's open the detailed profile of his develop this developer. Beside the basic inf information like current position, current company and location, there are direct contacts here. It's important to mention that I would always know where this email address comes from. Uh, the system shows the data source transparently. Then I would check candidates' achievements in technical communities and his tech stack. This talented guy belongs to 
top 1% of JavaScript developers and top 3% of Java developers based on GitHub activities. And this is exactly what I am looking for. Well, moreover, the models next to technologies and frameworks show that skills are also proven. Candidate experience seems to be pretty relevant to what I'm looking for. And I know this university for great specialists and graduates. So I can leave a comment here that this developer might be a good fit for the vacancy I'm working on. Well, now I have enough information to make the outreach as personalized as I want. And I would probably write in the first email that I have his contacts from a repository and that his Java and JavaScript project are really impressive. I could jump to his GitHub to go deeper into details of his project and to check what he is working on right now. For sourcing outside Amazing Hiring, I have a plugin that helps to align activities across networks. It shows the basic information from the profile, like contact details, pre-assess skills, and comments uh, are also here. They are visible for everyone within my organization for me and my colleagues. So I would never miss any important notice from myself or my colleagues. Okay, let's go back to the search output. To have all suitable candidates in one place, I would create a new folder or just use one of the existing ones. So I will call it full stack developer. I would share it with my colleagues if I want, add description here and click on create. And now I'm ready to pre-select candidates for my position and send them to respective folder. I can do this right from here, from the shortcuts. I would just drag and drop one profile. Then I would choose multiple profiles and send them to respective folder. It can be done from the full profile as well. When I am done with preselection, I would go to the folder and see all profiles I've, I've shortlisted. I would probably move them along the hiring pipeline to manage the process effectively. I would also download their contacts in a CSV file to send out personalized emails. Well, these were the basics I wanted to show you today. For a more detailed demonstration and trial, please contact our sales team. We would be happy to see you here. Thanks for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.